the gums are composed of fixated and loose parts. Here you see an upper jaw. The gum is tightly attached to the teeth. It is pale pink and you can see a pattern. These are indications of healthy gums. Additionally, as soon as you move the gum upwards on the teeth, the pattern disappears. This area is the loose part of the gums. This area can be moved with a probe. In contrast, the lower part of the gum, known as the gingiva fixa, cannot be moved. The importance or relevance of fixated gums, otherwise known as gingiva fixa, was controversial in dentistry for a long time. Earlier it was assumed that the gingiva fixa protected the teeth against mechanical strain caused by chewing motions. Therefore, inadequate gingiva fixa height was often believed to promote gum recession. Through animal testing and long-term studies, it was shown that the presence, or lack thereof, of fixated gingiva has no relevant influence on the development of periodontal diseases. However, if the gingiva fixa is missing, it can cause increased plaque agglomeration. If only a little bit of the gingiva fixa is left and an implant is planned, the punching method should not be used because this would completely remove the remainder of the fixated gums. To find out more about this topic, check out the video by the same name.